thought you were dead. Do I look dead? Your father, he told us that... I know, I know. Not my idea, believe me. He sent me away to recover. It was only later that I found out that he'd try to paid everyone off to say that I was dead. Oh, that's my father, always trying to look out for the family name first. I mean, when he found out what I'd done to you and what I'd done to Henry, he thought our family's reputation was toast. He wanted to set up a life for me somewhere else, but Frankie, I still have to live with my old life. So you sent me that text? Why? Why are you here? <gasps> oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, please, I know I have no right to even ask, but before you call anyone, please, let me explain. I don't know how the hell you're still alive, but I'm not listening to a damn word you have to say. Jesse, you need to get back here now. Madison North is alive and she's standing in the middle of our living room. He's on his way. Find something to tie her up with. Randy, if Madison wanted to run, she would have done it by now. No, it's okay. I understand. There's no reason why either one of you should trust me. Hands behind yourself. Okay, um, if your father set up a new life for you, why'd you come back? I still have to live with what I've done, and I realized that I couldn't. I want to turn myself in. But I don't know how to do that without implicating you and Jesse. Oh, my God. Untire. Dad, if she goes to jail, you and Randy won't be far behind. If you wanted to fake your death, which obviously you did, what the hell are you doing here? Why the hell couldn't you just stay away? I am trying to do the right thing. I'm just trying to figure out a way to do that that won't send you and Randy to prison. Well, there really isn't a way to do that now, is there? Well, what if I say that I took the body out of the hotel? That I put it in a car and sent it over that cliff? What if I say that while that was all happening, you were back here at the casino with a whole lot of people seeing your ass? What if I say that'll never fly? <laughs> Which you already knew. You are still playing games with us. You know, this is, this is just some sick thing you're trying to do to me. You still blame me for the way your husband treated you. No. No, I just hadn't thought of the timeline issue. Look, I don't expect either one of them to believe me, but I tried to prove to you that I was sincere. I gave you back the key to that safe deposit box, tried to give your family their lives back. You can't deny that. No. I can't. Just as you can't deny that you've done everything you can to try to hurt us. Guilty as charged. But I'm not the one who's trying to hurt all of us anymore. It's my father. I know he... All right, um... I'm gonna have to take you downtown. Okay, and uh, what about Randy, and what about you? Randy will be okay. I'm gonna take the fall. No, Jesse, no, you can't do that. I won't let you. It's not up for discussion. Please, there has to be another way. Would you agree to be booked under an alias till I can figure out what the hell I'm gonna do? Yes, on one condition, that you find a way to protect yourself and Randy. Don't think about it. You heard me, solitary cell, Jane Doe booking, no contact with anyone without my permission. I don't care, just make it happen. So, you want to tell me why I feel you're playing me? Because I've done it before in the past. But you believe me, don't you? I, I saw the look on your face that night at the hospital. I saw that you believe me. That's because Frankie always tries to see the best in people. He is a good man. Better than you'll ever deserve. You're gonna have to put something on. Going to the station, I think I might have something. Out of my car. Come on. I meant that. 
You're a good person, which is why you want to believe her. But Frankie, that woman is evil. And she is up to something. I nearly killed that woman in a car accident. And she's right. I do believe in her. Yeah, well, then you're a better person than I am, because I don't believe a damn word out of that bitch's mouth. Hey!